Join us on the show, our friend Katie Pavich from uh, townhall.com. Also, by the way, congratulations are in order, Katie, on your uh, new guest hosting gig on The Five. Oh, thank you. It was a lot of fun. So That's very, very cool. Um, yeah. All right, now listen, and, and, and we can talk about that, and I'll go back to the happy stuff, but <laughs> let's, yeah. let's get to Fast and Furious here because, mm -hmm. you know, for a scandal that supposedly had gone away, and oh, another new to report, um, there are about 1,400 guns that are still unaccounted for that we let go and, and we wanted them to end up in the hands of the drug cartels, and that's where they ended up, and mm -hmm. they're still wreaking havoc. We had a police chief uh, south of the border killed with a gun that was traced back to Fast and Furious, right? Right, exactly. So Richard Serrano from the Los Angeles Times reported over the weekend that a semi-automatic rifle uh, that was sold uh, and traced back to the Lone Wolf Trading Company, which is in Glendale, Arizona, um, through the Fast and Furious program um, under the coercion of ATF and the approval of the Justice Department, uh, was used to kill a police uh a police chief down in Mexico wounding his wife uh, and killing one of his bodyguards. And so this just gives us another, you know, as Eric Holder, you know, deals with all of these scandals, whether it's the James Rosen case or the IRS case, we are reminded that Operation Fast and Furious, which he was held in contempt for, actually has a body count. And there isn't much that Eric Holder's willing to admit, but he did admit under oath that, look, we're going to see murders as a result of this program for years to come. And this is just a grim reality of what happens when you put guns in the hands of bad guys. And, you know, you look at this and you think, well, there, the, you know, the, the most important thing I think here is that these cartels aren't killing. Uh, they're they're going after you know public officials. They're going after law enforcement. That's how 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 they are down there. They don't really have much respect for public officials. In fact, they target them. And so this is just another example of how brazen they are and the types of people that the Department of Justice actually armed in that case. Absolutely, and you know, it, it's it's telling Katie that. In a country like Mexico, which has very restrictive gun control laws, not only did the police chief presumably have a, a firearm, he had bodyguards. Mm -hmm. You know, and, and, and here was this stupid plan, uh, stupid being a very kind designation for it, uh, to, you know, well, let's let these guns go to the hands of the cartels and then we'll somehow track them uh, right. back to uh, the conspirators here. Do you think, you know, you said that, 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 that Holder had to come clean about a lot of stuff. We still have the court fight. Mm -hmm. over the documents that uh, the administration is claiming executive privilege on. Does this, you know, sort of bring new uh, impetus to uh, to this push? Does it does it put Fast and Furious back into the spotlight a little bit? Well, I, I think so. And I think, and once again, you know, stressing the this fact that this scandal and this horrific uh, operation has a body count. I mean, mm -hmm. hundreds of people have been killed in Mexico as a result of this. And let's not forget that this situation with the, the Mexican police chief being killed, um, the shooters left the gun at the crime scene, right? And so they were able to look at that gun and trace it back. But there are thousands of guns, 1,400 of them, um, that were given through this operation that are still unaccounted for, that are being used every single day uh, in murders in Mexico. And so these ones that we're hearing about, whether it's the police chief or whether it's the, uh, the beauty queen that was caught in the crossfire a couple months ago, who was used as a human shield, uh, who was killed with a fast and furious weapon. Um, those are the only ones that we can actually keep track of, right? right. There are dozens more happening that we don't really know about um, and that are going to continue to happen so long as these guns are in circulation. And it's not like ATF is down in Mexico trying to track these guns down, right? Um, there's a, the idea that this is a tracking program is kind of a joke. They, they, they admit that, look, we only find and track these guns once they show up at crime scenes. So once again, these criminals have to leave their guns at the crime scene for us to know where they ended up. Right. And so they're still missing. They're still out there and they're still in the hands of some of the most violent criminals, not only in North America, but I would say in the world. Well, absolutely. And, you know, that's the thing. These guns, uh, as you say, either the criminal has to leave them behind or they have to be in possession of them when they're, you know, when they're apprehended. Um, and I'm sure that uh, the first time this gun was fired was not when it was used against this police chief. I mean, who knows how many other lives have been uh, destroyed because of the actions, again, that put the guns in the hands of these cartel members. 
Exactly. And if you need a more clear picture of what happens when you give bad guys the guns they need to kill people, uh, this is it. And down in Mexico, they're killing public officials, they're killing teachers, uh, they're killing uh, police officers, um, and police chiefs, as we saw over the weekend, and they have no qualms about it. And unfortunately, our Justice Department aided and abetted those cartels in their murders by allowing them to have these weapons that they trafficked into, into the country. Talking with Katie Pavich from uh, townhall.com. And, uh, Katie, I know that we're going to be talking with uh, Congressman Paul Gozer later today on the Sportsman Channel, and he has called for, uh, you know, Attorney General Eric Holder to uh, resign or be fired. Um, do these new revelations, again, uh, give uh, President Obama any additional pressure to, uh, to do something about uh, the Attorney General? You know, it's, it's, it's one of those things I just can't quite figure out. You know, Eric Holder somehow has this immunity bubble around him when it comes to any responsibility for anything. And I still believe that the Fast and Furious scandal is one of the worst, just because they, we have dead human beings here and a gross disregard for public safety, not to mention an open border where these firearms can come back north, which we've seen happen uh, with the, the murder of Brian Terry. We've also seen that, you know, the Pinal County Sheriff's Department has recovered some of these Fast and Furious guns in some of their raids, and yet somehow um, the president doesn't seem like he needs to give an, you know Eric Holder any responsibility for any of this that's gone on, and in fact continues to say that he has full faith and confidence in, in Eric Holder. Any other administration, I would say, you know, something will be done about this. Mm -hmm. But we've seen so much happen under Eric Holder's watch. He's you know he's in contempt of Congress. He says he doesn't respect the congressmen uh, and women like Paul Gosar, who who held him, voted to hold him in contempt, both Democrats and Republicans, doesn't respect them. And I don't think President Obama respects them a whole lot either. Um, so, unfortunately, I'm not sure that um, we're going to hear much about this from the president. Yeah. All right, Seems Katie. like the only time he acts is when he wants to keep documents uh, not disclosed from the public on behalf of the attorney general. Absolutely. Uh, yeah, no kidding. Maybe mm -hmm. you, do you think you think you could get Holder to sit for an interview with you and, and the other members of the five <laughs> when you're on that side? Probably not. But, uh, I, I, you know, uh, based on everything that's been going on, I'm sure that Eric Holder knows exactly what I want to ask him. Uh, I am sure. I'm yeah. sure. Hey, Katie, thank you so much and uh, look forward you. to talking to you again very soon. Yep. Talk to you soon, Cam.